Hey guys, how you doing? Ray here again. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, it's Nitro Kyosho. Uh, this is a T-Rex Pro 450 by Align. I've been asked some from uh, some of my subscribers about wiring these things and how to wire them. Well, there's a couple of different methods and there's a couple of different uh, opinions and there's a Basically what it comes down to is do you want a clean look or do you want a practical look? Now a line um, as you uh, probably know if you have one of these and you you're looking at your manual they give you a couple of options for where to mount your uh, receiver and uh, your speed control. Now I got the Align uh, Velcro straps and I got my receiver down under here okay now I like it there because the antennas are out the side and it's not trapped inside of here where some people put them they'll uh, this way so you can see some people will put them oh, I can get this here inside here on in the inside of that okay now, it definitely looks cleaner, but for me, if I've got to rebind this thing, or if I want to check occasionally to make sure that these wires going into the receiver are all, you know, plugged in good from not being vibrated loose, make sure they're all connected for safety. Uh, for me, it's much easier to have it out here, and I like to have the two antennas exposed out in the open, not trapped inside the box. Um, and I just basically uh, velcro these up. I used to use zip ties, but when I used zip ties, I noticed the zip ties would cut into the wires. So years ago, I stopped using zip ties and switched to these velcro. When I used to use the zip ties, if you're going to use zip ties, it's a good idea to uh, put some black electrical tape around the wire and then put the zip tie. Uh, because the zip ties can cut into these soft wires. Now, as far as, as the speed control, they tell you you can mount it uh, on the back side of where your battery lays inside there. Okay, I'll show you that. All right, they're saying you can mount it up underneath here. Now, I don't want it under there because when the canopy is on this thing, how is air going to get up in there, you know? Is it going to get sucked up under here and get thrown up in there? It might, but for me, I like it on the side here. This is the all other alternative <clears throat> right there that a line tells you you can put it here or under there. When it's on the side here, You've got your airflow, all right, and you have this canopy on there, like that, all right. You're going to have your airflow whipping right across this, guys, all right, and that's going to keep that cooler than having it uh, trapped up underneath there. Now, also, most people probably don't even know this, but the auto rotation gear underneath here, if you look at yours and if you have a real... T-Rex Pro and not a, a, a EXI clone, uh, you'll see that there's fins if you take a close look on the underside of the auto rotation gear. Those fins work as fans and when that spins it blows the cool air down on top of this area, down into the motor there and probably down into this speed control over here. It's supposed to keep the electronics a little cooler. So by having this right underneath there, it's blowing cool air down on top of that. Uh, so, I mean, some people go for the clean look, which is kind of a pain in the butt when you have a, a technical problem. Uh, I go for this style because I'm more practical and, uh, you know, I want to be able to access things quickly. I want to be able to make sure my wires are plugged in. I want to uh, check my motor to make sure the motor, you know, is plugged in good and everything. And, uh, you know, 
there's different uh, there's different opinions, guys. Uh, you know, everybody has their own preferences. Uh, and my preference is the uh, to have it like this, so it's practical. Okay, the clean look does look nice, but it it, it really just comes down to uh, you know uh, what you want. So I was asked. You know, like I said, by some of my subscribers, my opinion on that, that's my opinion. Uh, a lot of this stuff in this hobby, guys, nothing's set in stone. So, you know, it's a free country, and uh, you basically can set these up any way you want, whatever makes you happy. Uh, but if you're, uh, you know, you want to maintain these things, and you want to check things quickly, and if you have a binding issue, and you want to rebind it quick, it just makes it easier, you know, the way I have this set up, and having the speed control on the side where the wind can get at it. But anyways, that's my opinions. Uh, I hope this info helped you guys out. And uh, talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.